Now, the candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, for the 2023 Bayelsa West Senator District election, Wilson Ayakbo, has advised Nigerians to de-emphasize religion and vote for those who have the willingness to transform the country. Wilson said that politics of religion is anti-democratic and does not support the growth of Nigeria, and as such, it should not be the yardstick for the electorate to elect the next leaders. Our correspondent, Jesse S.A., completes this report. With the successful conduct of presidential primaries by the political parties and the emergence of flag bearers and their running mates, another issue topping national discourse is that of religion. Some of the big political parties have come under serious criticism over a Muslim Muslim ticket, a Christian Christian ticket, or for allegedly failing to honor the principle of rotation of power between the North and South. However, Wilson Ayakbo Dawea, the senatorial candidate of the APC for Baesa West Senatorial District, says Nigerians should keep religion aside and vote for those who mean to develop the country. Whatever religion, so far you have the ability to meet up the, what the citizens in Nigeria need. You have the ability to unite the country. You have the ability to, to, to put the house together and ensure day-to-day -day activities go on smoothly. And Nigeria, what we want is a, is a better life, better country. Security-wise, we want our security to be in, be in order. If, if, if that person is a beggar, say, we don't mind. If that person is a Christian or Muslim, we don't mind. We just need somebody who have the quality to take care of the security, take care of the famine in, in, the, in the country and unite the country. It speaks on the zoning agreement between the people of Sagbama and the Kremo local government areas and calls on the electorate to do the right thing. Wilson also maintains that his desire to represent Baesa West in the Senate is driven by his passion to make the right laws that will develop the senatorial district. It is a town of Ikerimo, and I know there are a lot of people in Sabama that have integrity, that will stand for truth, and they are, they are talking. They too, they are not keeping quiet. They say it's the town of Ikerimo who will produce the next Senate. And my um, advice to them is to stand by their word. When you go to our villages, you see our people in urgent poverty. You see, you see things are not going on well. You see the houses and bamboo house, they are staying, they are just suffering. Our people need capital uh, human development. That is the truth. And uh, I tell you, that is what I stand for, to develop the, 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 the person. Like, thank God some persons wants that, uh, when that, I used the advantage of that COVID-19. Uh, opportunity. So a person through that avenue, they were able to raise block house, you know, and they are happy. And those are the things our people need. And also pass good laws that will benefit them, that will bring development to the to the various community. That is what our people need. Attract technical school, attract polytechnic, the only polytechnic we have in our library is not even functioning. The lawmaker still believes the Bayeso State will give the All Progressives Congress APC the highest number of votes in the South South, just like in 2019. Just CEC plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.